Hi, it's me, Dr. Lee, and thank you for joining me. Today's prayer, I am calling it, Test All Things. Test All Things. I'm going to read 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 21 from the KJV. 1 Thessalonians 5, 21 from the KJV. And it says, Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Again, First, that's First Thessalonians five twenty one KJV. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. The NKJV says it this way: Test all things. Hold fast what is good. So, the KJV says prove all things. NKJV says test all things. Hold fast what is good. And then the New American Standard Bible, it says it this way. But examine everything carefully. Hold fast to that which is good. Hold fast to that which is good. Hold on to and stick to. Again, it says, but examine everything carefully. Hold fast to that which is good. And that was the New American Standard Bible. And you see with um this test all things, you got prove, you got test, and you got examine. I have written here, continue to believe or hold to or stick to or adhere to an ideal or principle. God tells us to try him and prove him. So, with that, it makes me think about people that you may encounter that wants to tell you, okay, what you believe in is not right. It is, you know, you you believe in the wrong, you, you know, that's, you know, what you're saying is not right, da, da, da. And now for me, and for me, if, if nothing else, you know, I believe, I believe what the Bible says, but no one can take away my experiences. No one can take that away. So it's almost like, I remember years ago, my, um, my sister told me this like many years ago. She said, no one can tell you how you're feeling. She said, now they can argue that, you know, this may be, um, broke or this may be gone, something that they can see. She said, but only you know how you're feeling. She said, so a lot of time when people are talking, she said, when someone's saying about how they feel, you can't tell someone how you can't tell someone how they feel. Now you may think they should feel this way or they may sure react this way, but feelings are like personal. They 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 are personal. So with this right here, whenever you whenever we are you know saying testing something or like as here's and God you know tells us to try him. You know what I'm saying? To try him. So for when we step out, say, you know what? I'm going to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I'm going to try you, Lord. And we do our part. My experience, and I know countless other experience, you can see the hand of God in your life. You can have these, like I said, manifestations that, that you know, you don't know how they how they come. All you know that God sent them is like no way that, you know, it's not this much coincidence in the world. Somebody says, oh, well, that was um, coincidental. And so people will come to you and, and I would say like Satan sent or whatever, they will come to you to, to throw some at you to confuse you. And a lot of time when you hear people talk, it's kind of interesting to me and kind of funny to me because they don't know my experience. They don't know the countless times. You know, I can't even count the, the things that I have seen manifest that I would have never, you know, it, it, not, nothing to do with me. I, all I know is God. Nothing to do with, you know, nothing about me. Nothing to do with, you know, right place at the right time. It's more, I saw this somewhere or, I mean, nothing. So when you have these experiences these spiritual experiences these manifestations that god does and and then sometimes you it some of some of the stuff when you tell others about it they're like wow you know i believe you but wow how, how, how that's possible how they even how that happen and some people like they get blown away by sometimes of the stories that you know that as we can share and whenever you have these different experiences and manifestations from god so 
all I can tell people is, you know, to test God, to test Him, take the Bible and see. And I had someone to call me one day. They was like, you know, they want to know what was the right, right, right way. You know, they they didn't want to get to the end of their life. And it's like, you know, I'm around all these different religions, and I just want to know. And it was like, you know, I I I I believe you. I trust in you. I just want to know your what your input was on it. And all I could tell them was my my experience. That's all I can say. So this is the Bible, and I can tell you my um experience. But you have to experience this for yourself. So. Test all things. And I say, and when it comes to when it comes to God, just watch God. Just, you know, sometimes people say, well, I didn't, I didn't try this and this is not working or this is not manifestation. So maybe if it's not working, maybe you need to check you. <laughs> maybe no sense. Okay, this is not happening like I, like the Bible says it's going to happen. Maybe something, you know, you got to say, okay, this, um, let me, let me, let me check. Maybe make sure, sure I got the whole picture. You know, some people like to get the, like the, the pie. They just like to get a slice of it. And they don't want the whole pie. They just want a slice of it and make that little slice do whatever they want to make it uh, do. But take the whole picture. Take the whole Bible, you know, and talk to God and pray to um to God. And I said, and just, just try them out. And so for the ones of us that, you know, that we didn't see God, we didn't test him, we didn't see the whole truth, you know, it's nothing, it's not, no one else can come to come and, and tell, tell me this or tell me that when they can't take that, you know what I'm saying? They can't take that experience away. And so they can't, like, like I said, my sister would say, you can't take that person's feelings, um, feelings away. So once you have experienced something, somebody else may not even understand. You may have went through something. Let's say, for example, you may say, you know what? I had to grow up without a, um, a mother and a father. You know, I was, you know, on my own in the streets. People can hear that, but they may not actually, you know, get really understand it because they hadn't experienced it just like you. Like, but you may meet somebody else that had, you know, identical, uh, that identical situation. You know, I was on the sh street by the age, I, by the time I was 14, you know, I was doing this and doing that. And that person can, you know, can understand better. Kind of like, um, I was saying, uh, um, on another video, how I watched the, the, the guy said that he was losing, um, on weight and he wanted to find a, uh, I think it was a nutritionist. He said he wanted to find a nutritionist that um that would work for him and i want to say he ended up going to another country or whatever but with that he said he found a guy that used to be overweight he wanted a nutritionist that's been overweight and that that lost the weight he wanted somebody to understand he said not that the other people couldn't help him and said that but he knew that person gonna know the battles of you know being overweight, being obese, and then having to, to to drop weight and to do the exercise and the challenges you go through. So what I'm saying is experience. Experience, you know, experience just change a whole lot of things. And so with that, test all things. And another thing too, um, for just, just on this worldly side, physical side, if you meet people and they're telling you something, test it. Test it and see if it's true. Don't, you know, you don't, I mean, unless God is directing you and you know it's God and the Holy Spirit is directing you to do this here, you know, like, let, let, let the person, let them say, okay, test this here. If they tell you that you give them a $1,000 and you're going to be a millionaire, test it. So, you know, research them, check their background, see, you know, see, if, you know, if this person, has this person made anybody else, you know, a millionaire off a $1,000 or or whatever it is. Or if they're going to, you know what I'm saying, they're going to sell you some, um, you know, some, well, ocean, ocean, some ocean front property in Arizona you know and you got it it's the best deal ever you're going to get it for a hundred thousand you're going to have the ocean all around you around Arizona you don't know, test it and see go look at Arizona and see if you know is Arizona surrounded by the ocean so what I'm saying is um on on this physical side this worldly side if somebody telling you something and you know and it doesn't sound right if it's too good to be true test it test it like God said test them you know test you know and see you know and guys and God if God says he's going um i am do it He's going to do it. And so, man said so they're going to do something. They may or may not do it. And they may have good intent to do it, you know, because something happened. A person may not even be alive when they're supposed to do it, you know. They could be sick or whatever. But what I'm saying is, in um in all things, you know, just, you know what I'm saying, just test, just test it. So, somebody trying to sell you something or to get money out of you. And, you know, you see so many scams today. And it just bothers me to see how many people lose their hard-earned money. Or, you know, people get tied up in love on the internet. And the person, all they... All they demon is they 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 love you in a week or two or two days and all they want is money. Now they need money for something. So test it. Just test it and 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 um and and and, and see and, and and pray about it. So I'm gonna pray. Father, I come to you, standing on First Thessalonians five and twenty one. In your word it says, "Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good." Father, may I continue to hold fast what is good and father you are good 
so father just thank you thank you thank you thank you and just thank you for the many times you have just manifested yourself and everything that everything everything you ever said a promise that how i've seen it to manifest in my life and so, so father i just thank you i just thank you and you're awesome i can't say that enough you're, you're magnificent i just father you just um words sometimes can't even describe but father you know my heart you know my mind and you know that i'm just thankful and i'm thankful for your mercy and your grace and again father i just can't thank you enough thank you in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So again, test all things. Like I said, and sometimes, you know, if you can't really discern something at the moment, something that's coming at you, you know, you don't pray about it. Don't be in a rush. A lot of times people put you in a rush. When they want you to buy something or they want you to do something, they, they, they put you in a rush. You know, it's the last one. That's always the case. The last one. It's not going to be here when, whenever you get back. And I know one day I was getting a card and the guy told me, oh, when you come back, it's not going to be. I said, well, <laughs> that means the card wasn't meant for me. Because I know if whatever company, if it's Ford, um, Nissan, uh, Toyota, whatever company, all these comp companies they have, like BMW, Mercedes, whatever it is, Audi, it's so many of them. Whatever company is, if they if they made one, more than likely, they'd have made another one. <laughs> and on top of that, if it's meant for me to get it, I'm gonna get it if I have to pay more for it. Cause if I want it bad enough, I'm a, if I have to drive to another state to get it or whatever. So with that, don't let people pressure you because you're gonna save a little um save a little money or maybe go tomorrow if it be gone that means it wasn't meant for me you know so that's just the way i am saying i see it so i'm saying it under pressure on under pressure don't don't do things test 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 all things well if you came across this video and you do not have a relationship with jesus christ all you have to do is repent of your sins and accept jesus christ as your lord and savior and if you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, all you have to do is continue to grow that relationship. Be the brightest light you can be. Read your Bible, walk in obedience, and pray, pray, pray. Talk to God as much as you can. And just be the brightest light. I'm Dr. Lee. Thank you for watching. Let go, let God, and keep it moving. Take care.